Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Cancer, weekly singles love reading for Cancer. How are you guys? Hope you're well. All right, Cancer, let's see what's happening. I'm going to try to keep these a little shorter this week. Cancer, new love prospects or connections, who's coming your way? Cancer, okay, somebody that you're going to find attracted. You have a passionate new beginning. Somebody new. <laughs> Could be a Leo. Yeah, Queen of Swords. You're going to be discerning here. You're going to want clarity before you start anything. <laughs> you want everything out in the open. Oh, yeah. You, oh, yeah. You've wise. You've learned. You know, this is energy of somebody who rushes in and out. But I'm going to tell you, it's great to speak up and speak your truth to be discerning. It's a wonderful thing. But be careful you don't pressure someone. They may run away. If you pressure them too much, you want too much, too fast. Okay? So I feel like you need to kind of maybe don't pressure this person too much. Because the Queen of Swords often teaches someone how they want to be treated right away. You know? And it's good to do that. But I feel with this person, you know, they're going to feel pressured and run. Okay? They will just be gone yeah so there it is this is a choice this is a choice here okay it has to do with taking things to the next level choosing the one <laughs> mm -hmm. but it's all how you approach things you see the crossroads you could be a little unapproachable if you are like that okay if it's yourself this could be somebody giving someone advice too <laughs> it's like they're trying to get away. Just wait a minute. Just hold it right there. <laughs> I love this deck. So we have the Emperor. Now the Emperor is generally somebody who knows exactly what they want. But like I say, if they start to feel pressured or pushed, they're gone. Uh, so it looks like there's an energy of someone who's at a crossroads making a choice. Somebody's making some kind of life path decision here. Yeah, you might, like I say, you might be cutting someone out because somebody who rushes in and out for someone new. It's very possible, some of you. Oh, look at that. Yeah, multiple opportunities, things speeding up, somebody in a hurry. Somebody rushed in too quick, pressured so they're out of here. Yeah, and it may be even yourself too, you know, feeling that way. And I definitely see uh, Leo, Sagittarius, possibly Aries, Taurus energy. Yeah, and I see uh, the star. So yeah, it's releasing things that no longer st serve. So there's a little Aquarius energy, maybe willingly just letting go of someone. Somebody else is coming in, you know, taking other opportunities. But it's also telling you, I see some pretty um, fiery words here. Okay, so some of you may have some little fire in your chart there. So you might want to be careful not to pressure someone. But if you have someone who rushes in and out, yeah, definitely you're making a choice. You're going to choose the right person. You know, releasing. This is your hopes and dreams here. Now, this is also, there it is, he's somebody confident. So this is a person who's confident. Uh, and it could be a person who's releasing this energy. Okay. You may be taming the beast, teaching someone how you be, you, know, you want to be treated. Okay. But remember, they may not be as confident as you. So... This is often a person who charges in. They maybe find you attractive, so they charge right in. You know, they want to take it to the next level very quickly. So this is likely why you're teaching them how you want to be treated. A oh, little sweet, little sour. Never heard anybody. Let's have a look at the Ace of Wands. Empress Energy. There you go. Something new. <laughs> Almost feels like some of you may have Libra, Taurus energy here, but it's just energies. You may. Yeah, I see the birth of something new here. I think you're really passionate about too, I feel. You speak your mind here. Yeah, so there we have it, see? Yeah, there's a reason to celebrate. You have something new. So beautiful, beautiful energy. I feel like you're open to other options. Okay, you're open. Yeah. Oops, confirmation there. And then we have 
Oh yeah, this one I seen it. There it is. Ah, so someone may not be telling you the whole truth. They actually could be in a relationship. So make sure you get the truth before you start something and take it to the next level. Every level's different. Okay, but I see somebody leveling up being more confident too. So really watch your words. If you don't pressure someone too much, okay, that's what I feel. It's a lot of this. There's the energy of taking it to the next level. Someone who's in a rush. They're very attracted to this beautiful Empress energy, you see. They're attracted to this high vibrational energy. But they're key. this is somebody who may not be telling you the whole truth. Now, it's often just a person who's curious, but I feel it is definitely a person who often kind of just, you know, curious, but they don't tell you everything you need to know, okay? So that's where I feel here. They're, they're definitely shining a light on that energy. They're looking for clarity. They're not as confident, okay, about what it is that they're, they want. They just know they're attracted. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We have the Two of Wands. Yeah, so there's a little pause. Taking a little pause here, looking at things from a different perspective. Your perspective, their perspective, and the path that you're on. So I definitely see this person looking for some kind of clarity. So could be somebody who just backs out a little bit here. Okay, things might be moving too fast. They may be feeling overwhelmed. And it could be yourself too, because they come on too strong. The Empress is always balanced, okay? You know, the Empress can be patient, kind, compassionate, loving, nurturing. Uh, but the Empress is also very practical, very sensible. Maybe someone here you don't see in your future. It really does look like you're making a choice. And I feel like you've got someone here maybe not telling you they're in a relationship or they haven't ended one, whatever the situation. So, yeah, it's definitely where I feel something's making you feel uncomfortable. You may not see a future with someone. I feel like you're focused a lot on home, your house and home, okay? And so you could have someone who, who's close to you here too that's curious with you. It looks like you have multiple opportunities regardless. It could be someone who lives near you, be curious about you. Yeah, and I do see uh, the, some Libra energy here. So you know, we got justice in there. You have someone coming in right. So it's about coming in right. Okay, and being fair. It also is an energy of committing to the path. Okay, committing to this path. And the path is you know, different levels, getting to know each other. You see, everything needs to be out in the open. But someone isn't as sure as you. I can see it. Eight of Wands. You know, you might overwhelm them. You may be teaching them how you want to be treated, saying too much too soon, you see. So... Yeah, there we have. There's an energy of someone who's definitely longing for love. You know, maybe keep things simple, keeping things simple. Now, some of you may have someone who isn't as confident. They may be crushing on you. It's also a person who sometimes will show you that they like you by giving little gifts, things like that. So you've got this choice by the looks of it. Definitely looks like several people. Wow, yeah, the strength, taming the beast with the star. This is your hopes and dreams. <laughs> Teaching someone how you want to be treated, you know. Um, but really it's about being confident, knowing you're making the right choice. And that's what I feel. Making the right choice you can be confident about, okay, and, re and letting go of anything else or somebody else. Willingly, the star. So... Yeah, you might have someone who feels like you're a little out of their league. Like I say, they may not be as confident as you are. You, know, you may be overly confident, so, or you have someone who is. <laughs> I feel like you need that. I actually feel like you're going to just let this person go, but in a kind and compassionate way, you see. Yeah, I just feel like you're not comfortable with the way they come in. They move too fast. And, yeah, so there's the energy of waiting. So this is where somebody maybe even keeps you waiting. But I feel like this is where you start looking elsewhere. Yeah. You do have another person coming in, though. Like, that's where I feel. You you know, this is how, why it probably happens. You have somebody, while you're waiting, someone else comes in because someone's rushed in and rushed out. You have an emperor coming your way here. So beautiful, yeah. They're stable. They're looking for a partner. They are somebody who has a tendency to take a pause, 
Okay, you don't want to pressure this person either. They are confident that, like I say, <laughs> they will also teach you how they want to be treated. The emperor is not a pushover any more than the empress is. You know, they're looking for a partner. They want to partner up. And it's about doing things right and being fair. So, you know, it's energy where I feel like you're just going to look at this. Is this person right for me? It's more than likely them. Are you are you right for them? Do, you know, do they fit in your life, in their world? Are they reliable, dependable, somebody? You know, this is an energy of long term. It's commitment. It's a legacy between two people. Now, this person could be a business owner. So, like I say, they may take a little pause here and kind of, you know, look at things different about the path they're on. And it's very possible, like I say, you may have someone who has a choice between two people themselves, you know. Yeah, see, it's an energy of success long term. Uh, victory, will this be a victory? Is this the right person? Is this long term? So very interesting. But I also see an energy of someone who comes in when they look for attention. You see, they come in just looking for attention. I also feel somebody here is going to try to impress you too. They may give you little gifts. Now, an emperor is someone who's generally pretty logical. Uh, they don't, you know, it's a per they're not ruled by their, the emperor is never ruled by their emotion. At least they don't let anyone know they are. <laughs> anyone in that emperor energy, but they'll often show you they like you. They'll give you little gifts, definitely maybe even expensive gifts, but uh, things that are sentimental, you know. You know, it's an energy of building a history with someone. So this is a person who's definitely you know, something you've been waiting for, is someone who's confident. And definitely someone who's chased that success, a person who's now ready uh, for commitment. You know, they could be in your social circle. You see, there's a reason to celebrate the levels, taking it to the next level, introducing to friends and family. If you pressure, even the emperor, you pressure this person too much, they're gone, okay? I can tell you that. They're, you know, they're, they're definitely uh, somebody who probably gets chased by a lot of people. So, yeah, see, it's about committing, see, having faith. You see? Take going down this path, being faithful and committing to the path. Uh, and the path is the different levels, introducing to friends, introducing to family, and, co and commitment, maybe even engagement. So this could actually go somewhere. But yeah, I, uh, Queen of Swords. And it could be, like I say, someone giving someone advice. But it, it's definitely connected, I feel, for most of you, connected to that um, Empress. Not being a pushover, you know, a little sweet, a little sour, being sweet and sour there. It's always good to let someone know, you know, if they cross your boundaries or move too fast, come on too strong, you know, you know try to rush you to the next level before you're ready, <laughs> before you're comfortable. So I do see Taurus, strong Taurus energy here, morals, values, two people being on the same page. I feel there's someone here you may not be. So, but looks the multiple opportunities, you know. you know. Don't let anybody rush you until you are ready to, okay? But I actually feel it goes both ways, seeing things from each other's perspective. Um, I do see a victory there, acknowledging. Uh, and I do see someone sentimental. They'll acknowledge the success of the relationship, the levels. They may even give you little gifts at certain points here, uh, certain times. So pretty interesting. Yeah, it's a curious person. But yeah, if you've got multiple opportunities, definitely someone here um, is feeling a bit pressured. They're, they come rushing in. And I actually feel both people will have that energy because they have that fire. Okay. But um, yeah, see the next level. <laughs> Trying to, the next level could be inviting to the home, family, friends. You know, like I say, the levels are different. You know, that, that in being physically intimate, yeah, you want to make sure you know. They may not tell you everything. Some of you got someone who may not tell you everything. You might even have somebody here who starts something with you before they end another situation. Um, somebody playing the field here. So watch out for those red flags. Take a pause every once in a while. But it almost looks like there's someone here who 
felt those red flags regards to the Queen of Swords. Yeah. So, yeah, we have someone here who's definitely single. Making sure that this person's single. They're not just stepping out on a relationship. Okay, being wise here. And that's kind of what it looks like for some of you. Someone who's not being faithful. So if you start something uh, with somebody who isn't faithful, uh, the chances of them not being faithful to you, vice versa. Okay, yeah, a little bit. A little bit of that energy there, but it's about looking out for yourself, looking out for number one, okay, enjoying the fruits of your labors, being very comfortable. I feel this is, I feel you're going to be on the same page. I feel like you're going to have an agreement. I feel you're going to create memories, okay, history, being sentimental, anniversaries and things like that. This is somebody, honestly, this is an emperor I feel is kind of soft inside, you know, they're actually very sweet. So I say they may uh, you know, have little anniversaries at each level. <laughs> it's adorable. There's definitely someone longing for love. Absolutely. Someone um, who's faithful. Someone who is on the same page and similar lifestyles. You know, somebody who also has some independence. Because I do feel they could be someone who works a lot, a business owner. They need someone who's independent. Or somebody who can, um, you know, work on their own and entertain themselves. Because I do feel that they're busy. But this is an energy of someone who will make up for it, though. Absolutely. And what you're waiting for is a person who's confident. Release everything else. There it is. Cycle ending. A new cycle beginning. Leaving the past in the past. Yeah. This is where a crush turns into more or you're just leaving the past in the past. You might even just be reminiscing about something here too. Because sometimes when you meet the one, you kind of examine things. You look at the details. You know, if you've had a tough time before, you want to make sure this is the right person. So I feel like you, you're becoming very wise. Yeah, I see it. This is an energy of where an agreement where it goes in both people's favor. You see? The emperor is used to getting things their way. So like I say, you may have to take a little pause. Okay, Try and see things from their perspective. I, I do feel they will try to see things from yours. Absolutely. Um, but it's it's doing that before it, it goes to the next level. Okay. Let's have a look at the three of wands. Yeah, see, looking back, some of you feel like giving up, feeling like you're a little bit beat up here, you see. But that's the thing, is just when you're about to give up, here comes this person. See, releasing things that no longer serve. And cutting somebody out, or like I say, um, watching your words, not pressuring someone too much, or giving them too much information too fast. <laughs> you can't push the emperor. But you have a lot of power here, though, with that Empress energy. Let's have a look at the Queen of Pentacles with the Empress, and we'll wrap this up. Yeah. Oh, you've got a King of Cups. you got a King of Cups coming in. Yeah. Wow. Emotionally mature. Confident about how they feel. This is someone who's just about given up. It actually feels like them. They've just about given up. At finding somebody that's uh, compatible, somebody who's on the same page or has a similar lifestyle. Wow. Yeah, they want to build something here. They could be a home builder too. They may have a construction company. Um, they, uh, they have. I told you they have a soft side. There's someone longing for love. They've definitely a person who's been spending a lot of time working. They want to make sure they're successful before they start something. And boy, are they. You know, very stable, very, very stable person. But they want to build. They're very skilled. They're definitely a bit of a perfectionist. They are looking for someone somewhat perfect. But we have to always remember, nobody's perfect. And that's why I feel that Queen of Swords is partially here. So let's have one more look at that Page of Swords. Oops, that wants to come out. Yeah, see someone choosing their battles. Something that's worth fighting for. See, this is if you can be a little patient, a little independent... Focus on your own house, your home, your money, uh, your work, and things like that. Um, definitely, I feel this could go very well in your favor. I see the abundance coming in. I feel the timing being right. 
okay so it's about the right things happening all at the right time with the wheel of fortune oh yeah this is someone choosing something that's worth fighting for they're becoming clear so it really could all be one person for some of you but like i say you've got someone here who likely doesn't want you to get away okay others of you are literally running away from someone <laughs> Um, and you've got this emperor it's still here it's not going anywhere yeah there it is something new see things becoming clear yeah it could be someone who like i say uh, keeps coming comes back around if you've had something that's on and off this is someone who isn't going to give up so you might have mu multiple opportunities in fact you may be busy working when you get a communication here okay some of you it's just a new crush others of you um, you've got a person who's looking to see if you've started something new yeah you might i feel that some of you might even have two new people you might be a little bit overwhelmed okay yeah see so you, you've got love coming in we have the king and queen of cups you're going to fall for one of these people it's definitely the emperor energy i feel this is definitely someone who's mature they're confident see this is someone who's confident about their feelings, their emotions, what it is they want. So, and this is maybe yourself. Maybe it's yourself that's not as much. Some of you have had a tough time. You feel a little bit beat up in your love life here. So you've become you know, wise and discerning. But I feel it's telling you, like I say, a little sweet and a little sour. You know, more sweet than sour if, if it can be helped. <laughs> yeah i like it i feel like you've got this i feel it's just a matter of um, you know not giving up two people not giving up on each other too you know looking out for each other through thick and thin it's like you're both looking for the same thing you both want the same thing but yeah energy of you know, chasing that passion coming in really enthusiastic and then you know then running away is definitely um, like i say where you're feeling a bit beat up yeah. don't give up on love some of you really have that energy of just giving up but i feel this person's like that too so there's always something for everyone cancer i knew you were going to show up at some point i was almost going to say oh you might just be the the emperor <laughs> all right so let's see the outcome yeah see bold steps forward is someone taking a bold steps forward the farther gate see moving forward this is something that's going to keep moving forward i do feel an agreement to stay on this path together okay and to do things in steps and maybe in a traditional manner get engaged and all these things okay yeah you know the perfect storm the courage to step into life so it's an energy of manifesting life here and stepping into it two cards show that so i feel both of you and it's just being there for each other the perfect storm we always have to remember too there's no marriage or couple that are perfect okay expecting someone to be perfect is is really raising the bar a little bit too high for anybody uh, so it looks to me like there's some kind of goals here with the star okay um, taking things forward acknowledging the successes that you have in this relationship as it goes forward so now it depends where you are in this you could be anywhere along this you could be here okay busy focusing on work when you got this person it could be someone you work with in fact it could have been this could be someone you worked with at some point maybe when you were younger or in the past it's very possible it could even be a boss for some of you and i know a lot of people are like oh no well it, trust me it happens all the time <laughs> i've done a lot of readings over the years mm -hmm. not a better place to get to know someone yeah so there it is see things go luck in the right timing i told you it's the right time it's all about the timing it comes you know when you least expect it more often than not when you're busy doing other things you see some of you are definitely ready to leave the past in the past you're looking at it with kindness and compassion okay beautiful yeah, i see commitment a reason to celebrate here 
Yeah, you might have somebody doing some work on your home. Maybe that's how you're going to meet this person. Are they a home builder? Do they, you know, somebody who's definitely very sweet, very kind, nurturing. All right, one last card for Cancer. And we have the unmarked trail, the revelation. Yeah, you don't know where this is going, but I see an agreement to stay on this path together. Okay, to go down the path step by step. Um, I actually feel this really could be successful, but you don't really know for sure where it's going. So it's not going to say. I feel it all has to do with some of this energy up here and this person coming in and putting in the effort. Okay. Yeah, because I feel some of you have and you feel beat up, like you're always going to be single. You're never going to find um, somebody who, you know, where you just get each other, or even with a similar lifestyle. I mean, and I feel this person feels the same. I feel they work. So I feel they're busy. Maybe a business owner. Maybe you are too. So the Queen of Pentacles is definitely someone who makes a very comfortable home. You see, this is somebody would would buy you a home. Um like I, I i see that <laughs> hmm. so it's like home it's where you just feel like home you're just comfortable i feel it's gonna for most of you it's gonna start that way but if you are uncomfortable with something don't be afraid don't be too passive don't be afraid to let them know but like i say the last time just a little sour not too much of that or they will feel pressured okay yeah Beautiful. Take care, Cancer. I wish you the best. Bye for now.